Blue Lock. We are here once again uh, to join in on the fun of soccer, football, whatever you want to call it. We are back watching some Blue Lock, man. I know I missed a few weeks. I think there's like three episodes. I think you're on episode 18, but I'm going to be recording. I'm going to do 16 and 17 together. Then I'll do 18 by itself um, today um, just so I can catch up. Um, I've been sick for the, for the last, I want to say two to three weeks. I've been sick, still not feeling a hundred percent. Um, my back started hurting me. Um, I have inflammation in my shoulder. So essentially I was just trying to get do reactions that I can, that I could have done. I kind of postponed a lot of things, streaming everything that I, that I could that wasn't like necessarily like things that I was trying to get out, like things that where people are, you know, paid to see on Patreon and stuff like that. I kind of forced myself to do that stuff. Probably shouldn't, but at the end of the day, that stuff is on Patreon. I don't want people to feel like, you know, I'm trying to rob them or something, but either way, right. It's been a fun time watching Blue Lock. I'm gonna, as I said, I'm going to try to catch up um today i don't know when the episodes will be out on the channel but if you're watching this then quite frankly you might be watching this sometime in the week of the 14th i guess um so yeah i'm gonna jump into episode 16 and 17 today i know i'm enjoying the show hopefully you guys have been patient i appreciate y'all for sticking around um as i said blue lock is not necessarily doing great numbers on the channel um so during my time of sickness, because I was sick, I had inflammation in my shoulder that flared up. Um, then right after that, when the pain went away, I caught a cold. So I was out again. Like I couldn't like, you know what I'm saying? I kind of forced myself to do stuff because it was like, and then right after that, as, so as soon as the cold went away, freaking inflammation flared up again. And that's what I'm dealing with again today. So here we are. Anyways, guys. Let's jump into the reaction and I will <laughs> see you guys right after for the review. Tashkani この後練習しない。理解し合わなきゃきっと。化学反応は生まれない。練習はいいけど、ずっと <笑> あの徹底した<笑> バロ お前一人じゃゴールは奪えてもチームを勝たせられないだろう。つか、そんなにチーム だったら<笑> 
てかいねえだろ<笑><笑>ちょっと見ない間に修羅場くぐってんのな国神は誰と組んでんの俺だっつーの何勝手に先行ってんだよバカイサギまあでも俺も組むだろうなナギに誘われたらまそれも同意おいめんどくさうてめえ<笑>プロという公共の場で泳ぐなえそっちは次の対戦相手決まってんのいやまだそっちはどうな俺らはお前らとやるに決まってんだろもう俺とお前は敵だろナギビチャーズリアなかったお前を俺はここで叩き潰すやろうぜ俺らと逃げんな Bring it on! おいパス出せよてめえやだだってお前はパスくれないじゃんそれでもよこせやだよ,よてか潔さなんであいつらに煽られて即答したの別に他の対戦相手探してからでもよかったんじゃんああそれは舐められたくなかったのもあるけどさこの武器を持ってる俺らがリンたちトップ3に勝つためには決定的に足りない強さがあると思ったんだそれってスピードスターちぎりひょうまおい待て俺にパスを出せるポストプレイヤーを取れ<笑>あのオレンジ頭のフィジカル欲しいのはああいうボールキープ力だえ待って3人とも欲しいやつバラバラじゃん俺には俺のやりたいサッカーがあるからなまあいいんじゃない今は別に決めなくても勝たなきゃこっちも誰かが取られるわけだしさあああとはディフェンスで誰が誰のマークにつくかだが潔よいちは俺がつく俺はこいつとサッカーがしたいあいつを俺が封じてナギの選択は間違いだったと証明してやる He's gonna be ultimately disappointed. Ato sa, Katara, Dario Tur. Oh, she I should use in it as soon as the inja. Don't know me, she I did. Subetano Kotaiwa, Deru. Nichon, Taustak, the Attendake, Saka. Tatar Tosta, or a Hajimete Mitayo. Antamitani Sabistoni Saka, Surito. Or a Toyaroya. 楽しくなるよ。All right, let's do it。行けバロ。お前との化学反応がこのゲームを制する鍵になる。なんだあの守り方。寄せたり離れたり。どういう意図だ。はいはい。そっち行くのはご自由に。ああ。外方向へのドリブルは深追いせず、ミドルシュートの領域内への侵入だけを阻止する肉弾ディフェンス。まあ。ここまでしてギリ止められるレベルだけど筋肉への分際で頭使いやがって出せバロこっちだっせ水さすな下手くそどうする潔下がってくんな相手陣で張ってろバロは俺がフォローして前に繋ぐからお前に何ができるって<笑>覚悟しろ潔よいちなんだよこいつバロ出せ今黙ってろ気が散る俺を使えバロ出さねえんだろキングよく耐えた肉壁くそえほら言わんこっちゃじゃん行くぞ国神もう走ってる俺が最終ラインで止めるしかないトリプルで突っ込んでくるかそれとも国神へのパスかどっちだ国神だこれをカットすれば Oh no It's the real. I mean, Chigiri. <laughs> Red Buffer. <laughs> Alright. 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 Let's go see if Isagi and can pull this off. This looks like it's gonna be a tough match. I throw a Sioi. Cause you know, Baran's got two course each in the Jizok Stater. Jack Tenno Night Chimda. Hicks up. 
いつでも臨戦態勢命令すんな四角とオフザボールこの新しいピースを俺の空間認識能力と掛け合わせるゴーレイのルートがイメージが無数に溢れてくるバロンほらこっちだ目をかわしたゴーレイの道筋を切り開いた今だ出せバロンうそもしかよワンマンキングがそりゃちょっと強引すぎだろバロー just You're gonna have to get out of that ego, bro, so he can move forward. Damn. Shoutra!Nandepasdasanakata!Eusu!Taninogolnotamenidaregapasdaskaeo!Bakakaomae!Katanakeimi!Nidaro!Oronogolnena!Konofutariwa!Awaseraneni!Konochimoa! オレがコントロールしなきゃインプットし直すんだこの3人でナギともバローとも化学反応を起こす選択肢を俺から見える景色を更新しろ俺がこのチームをゴールに導く今のままじゃバローとの化学反応は生まれないじゃあナギへのパスコースはゴールのイメージが無限に湧いてくるあいつのオフザボールを感じ取れるレベルにまで俺は進化してる行くぞナギここだろ知ってるいくら足が速くてもさ人間は急に<笑>後ろには進めない<笑>すげえと俺のイメージのさらに上のプレーこれが No matter how fast you are, he's gonna have to get in on it. How did he even get here? Hey, you're playing a team sport. Go play tennis. <笑>それがお前のゴールに繋がるかもしれないじゃん。それ以外は全部客。全然です。それじゃ負けるって言ってんだよ。全然オーケー。新年負けて勝つぐらいなら負けた方がマシだ。お前はまだこんなもんじ
I don't think you should give up on him, but maybe you can create an ideal situation for him to score because he's not going to pass the ball if he gets it. To devour バロー。バロー。バロー。バロー。バロー。バロー。バロー。バロー。バロー。バロー。バロー。バロー。バロー。バロー。バロー。バロー。バロー。バロー。バロー。バロー。バロー。バロー。バロー。バロー。バロー。
to understand because sometimes people are so hard-headed they they don't see no other way of accomplishing something it's like they're so like tunnel vision they can't really see any other way out and i think in my opinion i think that borrow went through something in soccer he just doesn't talk about it i think he used to be it's like two sides of the same coin with him and isagi right isagi the match that we saw at the beginning of the series was him passing to a teammate and the teammate missing it could be something of similar nature that happened to borrow but he chose to go this way instead of what isagi is doing right so it could be just two sides of the same coin it's just like they're going in different directions right so it's like i i feel like borrow has experienced something like that or he just doesn't believe in team soccer it's just like bro if you want to just score all the points yourself and you know what happens when your team lose like how do you feel i feel like borrow is and then they showed off as well his meticulous side his tidy side the, the way how he is when it comes on to you know just being you know a little bit ocd you know what i'm saying it's kind of weird to see that about him and it plays into his personality of how he is right now too as well you know what i'm saying because he's so ocd about his play is like i'm gonna be the reason we win and i'm also gonna be the reason that we lose so either way i get blamed i get there's probably something to that there is what i'm thinking there's probably something towards that as well um so it's like no matter what you tell him he's not gonna change his stance you know what i mean and i think on one of the when he was talking back to isagi for a second there if i should go back and look at one point he said something to isagi in this episode you know what i'm saying it's like you know you know what i'm saying he said something to isagi man that really was really weird to me he's like with my talents how am i not winning you get what I'm saying? It's it's like, and he said, the one who's most frustrated with me is obviously me, right? So that kind of struck a chord with me. I was going to stop the video to talk about that because that's why I'm trying, that's why I'm trying to say it. it's like, he wants to be different, but it's like this philosophy, this principle of just scoring all by himself I just think that the way how he's portraying it is not the right way, obviously, but he has his reasons for being this way. I think it's more than likely like he wants the responsibility of winning and losing. That's why he takes up this king kingliness about him is like when it comes on to being that guy, if you are in the position of leadership, you are responsible if we win or we lose. It's kind of like you got to take on that responsibility as a leader. And I think the only way for him to control the outcome is by him taking all the shots. So, but there's a whole other side. That's the thing. There's a whole other side to it about soccer. There's a defensive side. Like if you're only just scoring goals, like, are you defending too? You know what I'm saying? You're not defending as well. So that you know doesn't play into it so it's just a kind of an interesting character that i would love to know what is his what get to know a little bit of backstory about how he became this way so i don't know if they're ever going to show that but it's a really interesting character nonetheless you know why are you playing a team sport and you want to do everything yourself like <laughs> it doesn't work like that you know what i mean like if if, if you could score all the points on a basketball team without anybody passing you the ball and you could play against five dudes and just hit threes all day. Hey, you know, but to each his own, you know, it, it would never work. You know what I'm saying? It would never work. You would never succeed by doing that. So it does, it is what it is. So I enjoyed this episode, man. Hopefully you get as enjoyed too. Let me know what your thoughts on bar. What do you think 
he's going through and if it's something that's going to be explained later or there's a backstory coming don't answer the question okay just let me know what's happening i'll see you guys next time don't forget to like and comment i'm out Peace.